morning here for me. Today, my video is going to be cleaning out this casita. It's my studio space, and it's also our guest bedroom. So the half that I'm on right now is meant to be for our guests, and the half behind us is meant to be my studio for me to work on my furniture. So it's a mess, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen that we just moved into this house about a month and a half ago. And if you're interested in hearing more about that, then check out my other videos. But um, the Adirondack chairs and the ottomans that I just cleared out were part of yesterday's video that I just finished and posted. So if you're interested in finding out how I finished those and built them, then check out that video. Um, we're still in the process of unpacking. Obviously, this is the last space that we need to unpack. And I'm ready to get started. I have several pieces in this room that I want to work on and do videos on in the future, but I need space to do that. So I'm ready to clear this space out. It needs a good sweep. It needs a good vacuum. Um, I have no idea when the last time was it's been clean, but um, it could use it. So uh, we're going to work on that today and hopefully I'll make some good progress. Um, it's a little stuffy in here right now. There's no air or anything. So I'm going to open the windows and hopefully that'll get some air moving through the space and make it a little more bearable, but stick around to the end and I'll have a little desk hack to show you. Um, it's really come in handy for me, so I'm glad you could join me today and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. These baskets here are the Y weave baskets from Target and I always recommend measuring the space you need baskets for before you go to the store. I can't tell you how many times I haven't and then I had to return something which is such a pain in the butt. So my plan is to use these to store my paint and my furniture supplies so that if anything leaks it doesn't ruin this bookshelf here. paint in this first basket here and I have some milk paint and some other random paint that I want to go right next to it so I need to move some things around but that's not going to be a big deal because everything's in a basket so I don't have to pick up one item individually but I can just pick up the whole basket and move it over.
Okay, so I think I've got the bookshelf as good and organized as it's going to get right now. I just organized things into like categories. Now I've just got a bunch of random things lying around that I use to stage my products with when I go to sell them and post the pictures, like these pillows and that picture back there. I've got some more stuff in here, I think, and then a lot of this stuff on this table. So I need to get all that organized, probably in a tote if I can, and that should clear up a lot more miscellaneous space. Now that I've cleared myself some working space, the next thing on my list is the windows because they are gnarly. final tour of the space. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think it looks awesome. Complete 180 from the mess it was when I started. Hopefully you'll think it looks great too. Okay so here is my desk hack. It's just to use a filing cabinet and then you can use anything for a tabletop like I've used a countertop that was left over before. This is a door that we um, cut down and just slapped on top of there but you can make it as wide as you want and then we just put these metal legs in there and just screwed them up to the underside of the, the door. And the reason that we did this in the first place was because a few years ago we downsized from a 1400 square foot house to a house that was a thousand square foot. And I, I was keeping the filing cabinet in a closet and then I just didn't have the closet space anymore. And I wanted to be able to still use it but we also had gotten rid of our desk because we didn't have space for it. So I came up with this and it's worked really well. I don't keep a lot of paper anymore. So the top drawer I use for files and stuff. And then the bottom drawer, I have some 
extra like office supplies. I just put my pencil organizer thing on top of a couple of um, storage containers that keep the rest of my office supplies in there. Um, and it just kind of looks like that. So it works for me. Um, like I said, you could use anything for a tabletop. And um, awesome thing is that if you cut it right and you're thinking, you can use the hole for the, um, the doorknob to put, I put wires through there, like for my computer and stuff. Um, and then they're not just kind of hanging out on top of the desk, so. Okay, so this is what the side of the room that I'll end up um, using as my workspace turned out to look like. I showed you guys the bookshelf and how I did all that. And then in these bins, I just have like stuff to stage my pieces with and then um, just some extra batting and fabric and stuff. And then my desk right by the window so I can see out. And then in the corner behind the door, just some tools that I use. And then I've got my pieces kind of just stored along the wall over here. And I think that's probably just the way it'll be. That TV is going to end up being mounted right where it is on the wall. In the mount we have um, the bracket there, you can swivel it. So I'll be able to watch it when I'm working at my desk or when I'm painting a piece. And then our guests will be able to watch it when they're on the other side of the casita hanging out. That palm is propped up on a um, bar stool that we cut down. I had intended to flip them and then it just didn't work out. They weren't in as good of shape as I thought they'd be. So I've been using it as a plant stand and it's been pretty awesome, but it adds some height to the palm because the ceilings on that side of the room are really high. So I thought it'd be nice to elevate it a little bit.